Welcome back. Over at Pinspiration in Ponte Vedra Beach, whatever the holiday, there's a craft for that. And our friend Jen has sent us some great ideas and inspiration to make leprechaun traps. We're going to catch us a leprechaun. I like this idea, and they, you know, couldn't be here, the team of Pinspiration, because they have a spring camp right now. Of course. And in the shows to come, we'll be talking about summer camps, and they have one of those as well. But uh, I think this is a great idea, again, because a lot of people are just trying to figure out what can we do with the kids. They're right in the middle of spring break, and they're probably bored, and they're on their devices and TVs. So this is always a great go-to. The old leprechaun trap. Starting out with a toilet paper roll, we're going to catch leprechauns in the, I know a lot of people think that they're about this big, but they're really this big. So the <laughs> idea is we have to lure them in with something sparkly and beautiful and green, and then maybe even we'll put some candy inside, and then we you put it up against the pillow when they come in, you just, gotcha, gotcha, give me the pot of gold. So that's how that works. I like it. And you know, a lot of the stuff you see here, you probably have at home, so you don't have mm -hmm. to go out and make a special trip. So I see, okay, so you have the scissors, you're cutting there. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I was thinking with the tissue paper, because you could stuff it, I might make like kind of like a little trap door type thing. Here. Oh, yeah. You know, where like the weight of a leprechaun, you know. Sure, he could uh, crash. Yeah, so I'm going to try to just put like a little. Oh, so like if he's standing on it, he falls through. Yeah, their vision's not that great. Oh. I know this from school, <laughs> so they can like, kind of fall so through. So in other that. words, when it, you set it up, they fall right in. Exactly, yeah. So, so I'm going to line this. I'll wrap mine in something. This is so beautiful and sparkly. Look at that. I like that. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. And then, let's see, I have green, but I'm going to do maybe like a rainbow type of... Mm -hmm. uh, did you need the scissors? Oh, eventually. Eventually. Thank you. So... Ultimately, when you put you put candy or, and I love the idea of it being Lucky Charms too. You know why? Because they are magically, magically delicious. delicious. Did healthy. you know this, that uh, Lucky Charms now, I was talking about this on the morning show, there's family size when it comes to cereal, but uh -huh. now they have mega size, which is a bigger box than family size. It's the biggest box of cereal that I've ever seen. I've also seen just the marshmallows, the big bag of just the marshmallows, and that was enticing. That was always my dream as a kid. Yeah, you know, all the things we wanted as children, our kids now have, and that is one of them. So again, the more embellishing you do, the more, oh, you're going to trap that little guy. Oh, yeah, he's the not going anywhere. The more embellishing you do, the more likely it is that they're going to come hunting. Yeah, you got to entice them. Yeah. So the way I thought I might do it is string that down like that. So he thinks it's maybe like a palm tree. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you. I know. I know. This isn't your first leprechaun not trap, is it? my first leprechaun trap. <laughs> So the thing is, though, it's catch and release. You get your pot of gold, and then you got to let them go. You know, I'm glad you said They're that. They're in danger. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. So. Oh, look at that. You know, if you had used orange, you could do, well, never mind. I was going to say the Irish flag is orange, white, and green. Did you study that for trivia, no, just in it. case? No, it was You've a question been... <laughs> that I had the other night. I went to team trivia. That is true, and that was one of the questions. Oh, you know what I'm... So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, good call. Oh, look at you. Okay. So again, at Pinspiration, just, just in case you have never uh, ventured to oh, Pinspiration. Yes, I'm helping. Um, at Pinspiration, now they do have a spring break camp, but regularly you can go by there and make any craft you want. If you see something on their wall, whether it's a resin project, whether it's paint, they're the ones who have the splatter room. They have all different parties that you can do. You can go with adult friends and they have beer and wine on tap, or you can take it, take the kids and do a kids party, or as we mentioned, they do have camp as well. The other thing too I like, they can be hands-on or hands-off with your project. So yeah. if you're doing really well, right, mm -hmm. they'll be like, oh, you got this. However, if you're like me and midway through, you're like, this is really starting to fall apart, they will jump in and then make it where it looks good enough to actually display in your home. Did you hear that? I think you <laughs> caught one while we were talking. I saw him go across the table and jump in. <laughs> My trap worked, that's it awesome. Worked. These, are, these actually come out all right. Yeah, these are very, very cute. Try these today with the kids. And remember, uh, for summertime, if you missed out on spring break camp at Pinspiration, you can find them online pretty easily. All right, We're stick around, Mordecai.